10 years ago. People turned up on the doorstep one morning for their swimming lessons to find a notice on the door to say that the building had shut. Part of Birkenhead died when this building died. It's where every single person in Birkenhead learned to swim. It's where people came to dance, to roller disco. It's where the Philharmonic Orchestra played. It's a place that's of incredible importance to the people around here. The baths fell into complete disrepair. Since then, there's been no hub in the community. There's nowhere for young people to go or people to drop in, have a coffee, for big sports or community events. And the trust was formed to bring this building back. Now, the building is not in splendid isolation. It's in the real heart of the community. And it's from the generosity of businesses such as the co-op that we've been able to start the restoration of this enormous building. Our plan is to start with the sports hall and then move on to the rest of the building. This is our enormous sports hall. And because of the height of the ceiling, we're gonna be able to do things that perhaps other venues can't do, such as trampolining, archery. We can form choirs, we can do theatre. As well as this, we're gonna have loads of meeting spaces for the community. We're gonna have a wonderful cafe and we're gonna make sure that there's affordable food and drink. The whole point is that this is a space that people can use, they can use it as a child they can use it as an adolescent they can use it as an adult once we're open we want to give people the opportunity to learn new skills they might be doing some carpentry painting working with us on reception there's going to be classes there's going to be a range of sports on their doorstep so they don't have to worry about traveling they don't worry about how they're going to get there and we'll train them up and we'll give them the skills that they can put on their cv and that will help them to go out and get a job Burn Avenue Baths means a lot to us. We used to have our annual swimming gala here for many, many years. So the idea of getting involved in restoring this building and getting it back on its feet again is really important. It's also important because there will be plenty of space here for uh, young people to have things to do because it takes them away from other distractions, whether it's smashing up bus stops or whatever else people do for kicks. So we've got a positive place here where people can come and learn skills and play a positive part in the community. There's so much to do. And without the help of brilliant, brilliant businesses such as Locality and the co-op, we couldn't do it.